Hey everyone, here we are in part 6 of the Tassimo Tut. And in this section we're going to tackle the back of the body as well as the base of the tank here. Um, again, this will be, you know, more of a challenging part than the other pieces, uh, but it's not that bad. So we'll start working on the base here and shape this out. And then if we have time, we'll move on to doing uh, some of the actual uh, pieces of the tank. Okay, let's go over and look at our reference pictures here. And let's blow up maybe this one. Okay, and as you can see, we have uh, one continuous piece from the back here down onto this base of the tank here. Uh, we have it as one piece of plastic here that's not separated. Okay, which is going to make it a little bit more difficult for us to model. Uh, originally, when I modeled the test model, I just you know separated these polygons out for this piece and uh, modeled them separately. But if you want this to be correct, we're going to need to model it all in one piece. Okay, so let's get into this. And the first thing we're going to do is just lay out some edges here and then round over these corners here at the back. And then we also need to create this little uh, lip kind of going around here, the shelf where the tank actually sits on. Okay, and normally that would be quite easy for us to do, but it's going to be a little bit more difficult in our situation uh, just because of the way we have this model uh, so far. Earlier on, you know, we just extrude these polygons out of the back here. And uh, they're all attached up here in the corner to the side of this curve. Okay, but we actually need this to be kind of plowed out here to create a little bit of a valley that goes around that uh, lip. Okay, if we look at this again, uh, you can see it's kind of punched in there and here. All right, so we're going to need to do some work to get that in uh, based on what we already have. Okay, so let's just zoom back here and let's also grab this. I'm just going to hit Control I to invert the selection and then we'll just hide this stuff. Okay, so we just have the back as well as the blueprint. Let's grab this and you can see the pivot points uh, in the original location there. I'm just going to center that to the back piece. So let's go to the hierarchy tab, effect pivot only, center to object and turn the button off. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is just add a couple of edges here. So let's go into the right view. Just going to hit Z to zoom in on that. Let's turn off those selection brackets with J, turn our shading off F3, and let's also turn the realistic off so we don't see those shadows. Okay, so we'll zoom in here on the uh, side of the base and let's hit Alt X to go into um, X ray mode. Okay, so we're going to add a couple of edges here first. Let's go to the edge here and we'll just grab these edges here. Okay, and make sure you turn off ignore back facing before you select those so that you get the ones on the other side. And we'll just add a connect here with maybe one segment, no pinch, no slide. Okay, and you can see that's going to curve at the bottom based on the angle we have over here. So let's straighten that out by making planar on X and then we'll just pull this edge over and line up right here. Okay, let's do the exact same thing with these edges. Grab those again, connect it up with one segment, and we'll just line this up right there. And we need one more over here where this edge is. So let's grab these, another connect, make planar on X, and just pull that over to right about there. Okay, so let's go back into perspective here. And we need, we need to round these corners over, but uh, as you can see, we have these two loops on each corner that is kind of going to kind of prevent us from rolling that over. Uh, so what we need to do is get these edges out of the way so we have enough room to chamfer that over. Uh, so temporarily, let's just go into the top view. Okay, I'm just going to turn off the selection brackets here as well. And we're just going to grab these verts here, and I'm just going to tug them over to the center a little bit more to uh, get a little more room on the corners. Okay. Just like that. And let's go over to edge here. Let's grab this corner edge and control click this one. And we'll do a loop. And we're just going to chamfer these over. So let's open up chamfer here. Okay, we're going to take this up quite a bit. And let's also maybe add an extra segment here. So we have four. And we want the curve of this part of the tank to kind of reflect the curve on the actual water tank later on. Uh, so I want to make sure we do it wide enough. Let's take it up to maybe about 38 or so with four segments. Okay, I think that should be about right. Uh, so now that, have, now that we have that done, let's go and maybe click these edges here. I'm just going to select these four. Okay, like that. We'll do a loop on these. And let's go back into the top view here. I'm just going to hold down Alt and deselect everything up to this point here. Okay, so we just have these twisted edges uh, selected around the back on each side. Okay, I want to get these out of here, so let's hit Control Backspace, and that's going to take out the edges as well as the verts. And now we can just simply connect these edges across to, uh, so we can try to get quads in the corners here. Okay, so we'll zoom in here. Let's go back to Vertex. 
Let's grab this one and the matching one across from it and do a connect. Same thing with these two, connect those up. And over on this side, we'll do the same thing. Connect and connect. And we'll also make sure we get the bottom here. So let's do the exact same thing down underneath. Connect those pairs up as well as these two on the, the right side. Okay. And you can see those aren't uh, straight here. And that's really not a big deal, but I'm a real stickler for uh, a clean mesh. So I'm just gonna straighten these out quick. Let's grab these birds here. Okay, just gonna move these over a little bit and straighten out the edges. Again, this really isn't a big deal at all, but there's nothing wrong with doing a, a clean job. All right, so I'm just gonna pull this over. Just gonna move this guy back a bit, like so. We'll just leave this one twisted. That's not gonna cause any problems. Okay, just like that. Just so everything's nice and straight. Uh, in order to get quads on the corner here, you can see we have an end going here and here and underneath. So what we want to do here is maybe go over to cut and let's go up to snaps and right click and just check off vertex here. Leave everything else unchecked. Close that up. Let's also turn it on. And we're just going to cut from this vert here over to the matching one on the right side. Okay, and then right click to end it. Grab the next one there and connect it up to this one. Right click. Okay, and that's going to give us a quad mesh here on the corner, which is what we're looking for. So let's spin around and go underneath here. Let's going to rotate this around a bit so we can see. And we'll just do the exact same thing here. Let's cut this bird over to this one. And this one over to this one. Okay, and then just right click to end those. We'll turn off cut here, turn off snaps. All right. So the next thing we'll do is try to start uh, laying out some edges for that little uh, shelf that we have on the sides here. Uh, let's go into the left view again. Let's go over to edge here and just grab one of these side edges here at the top. Let's do a ring and a connect. And again, we're just going to do one segment, no pinch, no slide. Hit OK to that. And let's hit Alt X one more time. Okay, and you can see uh, on the blueprint there uh, where the edges are. It's a little hard to see. So let's just move this up to about here. I'm just going to line it up right there. And to make it a little easier, let's maybe grab a line here. So I'm just going to go to create into shapes, grab a line. And I'm just going to draw one out here that kind of follows that edge on the blueprints like that. And then we'll right click to end it and let's change the color to black here so we can see it. And we'll reselect the tank piece here. And what I'm going to do here is just move the verts up to match this line. Okay, so we have a nice straight edge. Okay, so let's go back into vertex for the tank. And let's just go into perspective uh, for a second here. Uh, we don't want to add this uh, vert right here on the curve because that's going to change the shape of that side when we smooth it later on. All right, so we want to get this out of here. And let's just maybe target weld it up to this point for now. Okay, we'll do that over on this side as well. Okay, just like that. And now we'll go over to vertex again. Go into the side view here. And let's select these ones here. Okay, I just want to make sure I don't get any that we don't need. Okay, so just select all the verts along the edge there that we just put in. Go back to the left view, or the right view, sorry. Hit Alt X. Okay, now we have the, the front ones here on the back right on the money. We don't need to move those, so let's just deselect them by holding Alt. Okay, and what we're going to do here is just move this up on the Y uh, to kind of follow this edge. Okay, so I'm going to move it up like that, deselect those ones. Move it up again, and we'll just kind of work our way to the left here. Uh, you could do this using snaps uh, if you want to snap them up to that uh, spline, but it's probably just as easy to do it manually. So we'll just kind of line it up and just keep working our way uh, up to the back here. Okay, and we might have something selected that we don't want here. Let me just see. Yeah, we do. Looks like I accidentally grabbed a couple of the middle ones here. Uh, let me just undo this for a sec. We definitely don't want to change the shape of this piece here on the inside. All right, so it's going to take that back until we straighten it out. I'm just going to deselect these ones here. Okay, so we don't want to have those selected. All right, sorry about that, but we'll just uh, quickly redo it here. And we have to go back a little further here. Okay, I think that's that's fine there. 
Okay, so now we'll just deselect these. All right, so let's just redo this quick. Deselect these two front ones. And just push these up. Okay, and we'll just kind of leave that about there. Okay, so that's going to give us the edge uh, layout that we need to create the shelf. All right, so now what we can do is just turn off the uh, vertex there, grab that spline we put in there, and delete it. Okay, now we'll start plowing this in. Uh, we're going to need to do a little bit of work to clean it out. Um, you never really want to extrude in um, polygons on the top of something if you can help it. Uh, it's always easier to you know extrude out if you can. Uh, in this case, we can't because uh, we don't want to come out any farther than what we have already. So we're going to need to push this in. All right, so it's going to take a little bit of uh, cleanup to get it to uh, work correctly, but that's okay. Okay, so let's go over to edge here. Select this edge right here, do a ring. Control click polygon here, turn it into a polygon selection. And we don't want to have these two side ones selected, so let's just hold down Alt, deselect that one, and the same one on the other side. Okay, now what we're going to do is just punch this in. Okay, so we'll zoom in here a bit. Let's open up extrude, and we want to do this by local normal. Okay, we'll take this way down, so I'm just going to right click the spinner there. And we're just going to punch it in with a negative amount. Uh, we don't need to go super crazy into it, we just want to have a little bit of a shelf here. Let's do maybe like negative 5, might work. Okay. Uh, now that we punched that in, we're going to have a little bit of a problem here. Uh, we have polygons on the top that were originally there, okay, but now that we've punched that in, we also have polygons facing down here. Okay, so we need to get rid of these ones and clean up the top. So the easiest way to do that is to go over to edge, grab one of these edges here on the bottom section and ring it, and then control click polygon. Okay, that's going to go around that uh, entire border of what we just punched in. Okay, so we want to delete them out, but we don't want to delete out the shelf ones, we want to only delete the top ones. So let's go into the left view, hit F3 to go into wireframe, and just hold down Alt and deselect everything up to those top polygons. Okay, just like that, and we're going to delete these out. And you can see, still see that's overlapping there. And we can't just delete these because if we grab one of these polygons, you're gonna see it's a lot bigger than what we need. Okay, so the way we're gonna fix this is just by welding these verts back to the uh, ones on the body. Okay, so we'll go over to vertex here. And we'll start over on this corner maybe. And we'll just use target weld to do this. Okay, so I'm just gonna zoom in here. And we're just gonna snap these back. Okay, so I'm gonna start on the corner here, weld it back to that one. And we'll just kind of work each way, welding these up to the matching uh, birds. Okay, this one over here, this one over here. Okay, I'm just going to leave that little triangle one there for a second. And we'll work the other way. Gonna spin around here. I know this is super exciting, but uh, we're almost there. Okay, and we'll go to the same point on this side. Okay, and we'll turn off the target weld there. And we're gonna need to do here is delete this polygon right here out, which is the one that's uh, overlapping the edge there. So we'll delete that. I'm going to come over onto the other side here, grab the same one right there, and delete it. Okay, and then we'll need to do a little bit of work here to get the store uh, shaped correctly. Uh, so the first thing we do is we need an edge uh, along here so that we have the side of that piece that's punched in there. Uh, we want to create an edge here for this piece. Okay, so what we're going to do here is just grab these edges right here, these three, and connect it. So I'm slide that over. I'm going to slide it over until we line up with the edge or the vert right here. Okay, so just try to line that up with this edge here. Okay, now that's in, we're just going to grab the two verts on top of each other right there. And you can see how many you have selected over in the modify panel here. And we'll just hit weld. Okay, if those don't weld together, just open up the settings box uh, here and just crank up your weld threshold. Okay, 
Okay, so now we have that welded up, we'll just grab the border around that open polygon and cap it to close it in. Let's go over to the other side here and repeat the process. Okay, so let's grab these three edges again. Another connect, slide it over. Grab a few verts on the corner there. And let me just move that edge a little bit more. Okay, grab those two verts and weld them and then cap the border right here. Okay. All right, so now what we need to do is plow this in. Uh, but first we need to connect this up here at the back. All right, so I'm gonna connect this vert and this vert together. It's gonna give us a triangle, but that's okay. So we're gonna connect that up and then we're gonna select these three polygons. And we're gonna extrude these in uh, to match up with the polygon that we have down here. All right, so let's open up extrude one more time. Let's do it by group, and we'll take the mount down until we kind of line that up there. Okay, and if you're having a little trouble seeing it, you can just go into the front view maybe. Hit Z to zoom in on it. Hit F3 to go to wireframe. And then you can see where uh, it is here. Okay, we can also make this planar probably. Let's do that. Oops, on Y. Okay, so just want to slide it until it touches up with that edge right there. Okay, I want it to be as even as possible, so right on top if you can. Okay, so now we'll hit OK to that. Grab this polygon here and delete it, and grab the one that's facing the other way there and delete it. Okay, and if you're having any trouble rotating around, just grab you know a polygon or an edge in the area you want to focus on and hit Z. That'll center your viewport to it, the rotation. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're gonna have a vert two verts on each side of this on top of each other. Okay, I'm just gonna hit F3 here. We have two verts right here that we need to weld. Okay, so select those and weld them. And two right here that we need to weld, so I'll weld those up. Okay, that's gonna give us that uh, valley going in the back there. And we're gonna need to do the exact same thing over here again. Okay, so let's connect this vert to the back first. Grab those three polygons and just extrude them down. Okay, and the amount should be exactly the same as it was on the other side, so about 10.5 for me. Whoops, let's just hit OK to that. Go to the front view, and I'm just gonna straighten it out. Make plane, uh, make planar on Y. Okay. And we'll just delete the polygons again, so that one and that one. And we'll up those pairs of verts here, and on the corner here. Okay. All right, so now that we have the shape uh, that we want, um, we're not out of the woods yet, we have quite a bit of work to do. We're gonna need to support uh, pretty much all these edges so we can uh, turbo smooth it later on. Okay, but uh, we're gonna need to add some other edges in here first. 